Hey everyone, CPO here, and in this video, I'm going to be outfitting the side of my Hobie Lynx kayak with an anchor trolley. And I'm going to be doing that with the assistance of a Super Yak Fishing anchor trolley kit for the Hobie Lynx that allows me to install the Yak Attack lever lock anchor trolley to the boat without using screws to screw directly into the boat because that's not allowed. By the way, Super Yak did throw in this cool little safety whistle with my order. I thought that was a nice touch. Thanks, guys. So the Super Yak fishing kit comes with these mounting plates that were 3D printed. And on the back, it has 3M tape. It also comes with a primer and alcohol wipes to clean the surface of the kayak and instructions, of course. So it does not come with the trolley kit. You have to buy the Yak Attack trolley kit separately. And then instead of using the screws to mount directly to the boat, like I said, we're going to mount to these mounting plates. And so it's quite simple. Using the hardware that comes with the lever lock kit, and by the way, that's AMS-1003 is the part number for that kit. The two long screws are going to be used to mount the pulleys to the front and rear plates. And you just want to snug these down until they're tight, but don't over tighten them. It is 3D printed plastic material, so keep that in mind. But that's what that's gonna look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and do both of the pulley setups. That's the front and the rear, and I'll show you how to mount those on the boat. And next I'm gonna put the pad hook onto the mounting adapters, and those are using the smaller screws, and there's two of those. So that was pretty easy, kinda of hard to screw that up. And then the next thing we're gonna do is build the lever lock assembly. And so that requires putting the lever lock lever in place. And it's gonna go like I show here. So hopefully you can see that uh, the uh, overlapping part is going to point out. And then that whole assembly is going to fit against the mounting plate. So it should look like this and function like this after you get it put together. All right, so that is the basic setup. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean the side of the boat and make sure I get all of the crud off of it. So the next thing we wanna do is identify where we're gonna place the different components. The pulleys are gonna go all the way to the front and the rear as far as we can get it. To the front, this is about as far as I can comfortably get. This is the recommended position from Super Yak as well, right about the middle of that bungee area in the front. But you can see even there, the mounting plate doesn't fit completely flush against the boat because it starts to curl under there. It's going to be fine there. There's enough to hold it, but just know that. On the back, I'm also going with the recommendation from Super Yak right about the in in the links. And then for the pad hooks, I'm going underneath the rear H-rail mounting hole. And the front pad hook is going directly below the very front of the accessory track. And then for the lever lock assembly, I'm basically going right in line with where the transducer mounting hole is. And that's basically the middle of the seat area. So now I'm using the alcohol swabs that came in the kit to clean the areas where I'm gonna install the five mounts. And then I am using the 3M primer to basically just paint in the area with primer where I am planning on putting the mounts. It's a little bit hard to see, it's clear, uh, but just do the best you can and get it wet in that area. Then you wanna let that sit for five minutes so that it can fully dry. Now for the pulleys, you want the open end of the pulley to be pointing towards the center of the boat. So in the front, that means the open end or the arrow side or however you wanna look at it is going to be pointing backwards. And then I just remove the red backing tape from the mount and place it on the side of the boat. I'm pushing it as far up on the bottom of the hole as I can up until where it meets the top half of the hole and then pressing hard for 20 seconds to get a good bond. And then I'm just going to follow that process on the rear as well, making sure that the open end of the pulley is facing forward this time. Then I'm gonna go ahead and move to the lever lock and get it mounted. Next would be these pad hooks. And just for a note here, the little hook part goes down and again all of these are pushed up as far up as I can get them against the lower part of that hole and then there you go that's all five of the components mounted 
And now I want to let that cure for, according to the instructions, about 20 minutes. I think it was about an hour before I actually got to rigging. But it did start to rain, so I had to pull the whole thing into the garage to finish this out. So now I can start rigging the trolley line. Uh, I'm going to start from the lever lock assembly here, and I'm just going to feed the line up through the lock there. You can see it locks and holds it tight or unlocks and allows it to run free. Then I'm going to go through the top of the pad hook and then around the top and then down the back of the pulley. And then I'm just going to repeat that same process moving towards the front of the boat uh, through the top of the pad eye at the pad hook there. And then the front pulley around the top down to the bottom. And then pulling that line, uh, not super tight, but uh, snug. And then we're going to go ahead and look at uh, installing the trolley ring. So basically I'm just tying a little overhand knot on the one side. You can see which is the front is the more smooth side and then running the rest of the trolley line through to make that connection. Now I've got a lot of trolley line here. That's a good thing because now I have lots of spare line, but we'll talk about that here in a second. And then you can see sort of how this works. Uh, I don't want to put too much pressure on these components until they've had a chance to cure for at least 24 hours, but I do want to go ahead and get it fairly close to the right size of the trolley line. So I pulled it up until it was a little bit snug, and then cut it and then melted the end so that it wouldn't fray. And then you see here I have quite a bit of line here. I'm just going to throw it in my crate and use it as a spare. So we can sort of see how this is going to work as a trolley system for the anchor line or for my stakeout pole, which is probably what I'm going to use more than the anchor. But this is how this uh, little setup here works. And then after... I let that sit for a day. I came back and then really snug down that trolley line to get it tighter and then retied that overhand knot. I still have a little bit of extra line here and I figure I'll use the kayak a few times and make sure that that's the tension that I want on it. And once I've felt pretty comfortable that that's the right tension for me, then I'll go ahead and cut off the rest of the excess. But yeah, this is how this whole assembly should look. And you can see uh, how in the trolley ring, uh, you can put it in and then push it down to lock it in place. And yeah, that's it. All the way to the front, all the way to the rear. And like I said, I can attach my anchor line or use my stakeout pole and point the boat in the direction that I need to point it. Whereas before I was trying to use scupper holes and even one time I ended up wanting to be anchored from the rear and I didn't have any anchor points so I connected it to my crate which didn't make me feel super comfortable but it worked out anyway I got a lot of good fishing done but yeah this is going to be much better because I can specifically put that anchor line or the stake out where I want it anyway guys thanks for watching I'll catch you on the next one